give you guys kind of a pricing of how much everything costs, how much I'm selling, what I'm keeping, and how much I'm going to make in profit or loss depending on whatever I'm doing. So stay tuned for the video. I just received my package and before I do get started, I do have to manifest for this delivery so that way I know what I'm getting in this box. So I paid a total of $3,377, which is included with the shipping and everything. So I have to regain that money that I just spent. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to sort through it and show you guys exactly what I got. So here we have a whole bunch of flashes for different kinds of cameras. So here you have for the Sony, uh, there's one for the Nikon. Make sure to put on gloves because you don't know where these boxes were or it was open. But it looks like there's not even a battery in it. So it looks like the buyer just took the battery out of the package and just threw it back in here. We've got a charger. We have a battery. So this one at least has a battery in it and a cover. So. So it works. Uh, this is for a Nikon. So this one I would probably actually keep. Well, this one you can't use. This one has a broken pin. So this is garbage. So it looks like someone just like ripped it off. Cause you can see that the screws are still in and it's just ripped off. For chroma key. So the chroma key I actually need it. Cause when I shoot thumbnails, it's gonna be so much easier to do. So that looks brand new. That was unexpected. So there's a big giant background. I just dropped a whole bunch of stuff. This one actually, yeah, it's actually damaged, right? So this one you can't use. We'll see what happens. So this one is a tripod so i really like this box because it has a lot of tripods in it which is over 200 dollars for each one which is ridiculous wow fancy it's expensive ones this is a kn5 a kn5 is about 90 dollars for this one tripod i could always use some kind of tripod so i'm not there's no point in me reselling it if I'm gonna buy another one, so. I don't know. It looks fine to me and I'm gonna be using it, so. Always could use some tripods. I have one right here. Uh, oh, this is the slider, which isn't much of a slider. because So you're supposed to put your camera on this and then it's supposed to move left and right on a bar, but it doesn't seem like there's a bar in it, so that tripod costs. Or I don't know how much that slider costs, but let's see what this one is. Matte Fronto. Like this this tripod got everything. And then you can do this. I think this is the plate he was talking about. You can't remove it. This tripod I'm gonna sell and this one I'm gonna keep because you know it's more expensive so for anyone that would like to actually buy this stuff i'm gonna leave a link in the description to my ebay page so you guys could buy your own if you guys are already looking for something and you guys see something that you like that isn't damaged or is damaged but you can still use it uh go check out my page and yeah so this is a tv monitor i think no this is a dell looks like it was used they just, they just put a, now it's completely damaged. I'm gonna show you guys closer up. So you guys can see that there's actually a whole bunch of damage on the side where the USBs go and you can't even use the USBs because they're completely crushed. So this is a big giant light. Turn it on, there's a battery with it. No, you gotta plug it in. Okay, so this I'm gonna check in a little bit. This is why I like checking everything before I actually sell it because you don't know what's good and what's bad. But this one looks freaking brand new. Plug it 
Please don't let it be used. Please don't let it be used. Please don't let it. Okay. Oh, great. Well, I have cables. Okay. So again, got to test this one. Make sure it actually does work. So this is a 10 inch photo screen where you put on your living room or wherever it is and you just watch the pictures slide by. I feel like I'm getting ripped off right now. Like, but it looks brand new. It doesn't look like it was even taken out of the box. even open that's the thing like I'm gonna keep this just make sure that actually this is not damaged but it looks so freaking brand new like it doesn't even look like it was touched I also have Asus Prime C690 D4 which I actually have two of these. I have one that says Game Tough. So, they said that the pins were broken, but let's check if they actually opened the seal from the box. It doesn't look like it was... It wasn't even open. No, it was open. Damn. Maybe there's like one pin damaged. I don't know. So let's, I'm not much of a gamer. I'm not even going to keep this because there's no point in me playing video games because I don't have time if I'm editing. It's, I think it said that it didn't connect to the HDMI. I don't know, like the back piece or something. I don't know what it is. Um, so I'll probably just sell those. I think there's like the charging port, whatever it is, and then all the other stuff in here. All right. <laughs> So this is one more thing I was hoping to get that I really hope works is the pocket flash can't get power to it. Batteries. It's saying that it doesn't work or it doesn't get power. This is like a three thousand, no, uh, not three thousand. It's a three hundred dollar light. Like, gets power, doesn't get power. I wish there were instructions to this. But it doesn't look like it does actually get powered up, damn. Yeah, so it looks like it doesn't actually work. I just checked it, and so what I'm going to do with this instead, I'm going to just sell the light bulb, sell the accessories that's already inside the case. I was really hoping to keep it, but SD, SSDs, or HDD, whatever it is, which is six terabytes. So together, if you put them into one computer, there's 12 terabytes of memory. I'm keeping that, even if it doesn't work. MSI Mag 5, uh, 560i Gaming Edge Wi-Fi. So, I just want to see. It looks like it wasn't even open. Uh, I see one little bend in there. We have a Prime B560 MA. Yeah, this this... This looks like it was already opened up. So let's see if it works. I'm gonna actually do it right now. I'm gonna see if it works right now. Plugged in. Flashing, which isn't a good thing, but it's freaking bright. But see, now it works. I think that's somebody like... Or does it not? Yeah, now it's working because I turned down the settings. I think that's somebody that's working right now, so... Or it was working. I I'll play around with it later. I think it works. If I could use it, I'll definitely keep it. Also, I forgot about this. This is the background chroma key stuff. And as you guys could probably tell, it's been used. It's been damaged. There's no point in me using it because it's just going to make the background look disgusting. So definitely go into the garbage. I mean, I bought it because I needed tripods and I, I knew there was like 
a $1,300 tripod in here. I, it has a broken leg, but still, it's $1,300. Like, if I could fix it for $20 or $30, it just fell. Nice. Don't worry about it. Wow, what the hell is this? This is a power charger for um, batteries, I'm guessing. LCD screen is defecting, no display. Oh man, this is gonna be heavy. I don't even know what that is. Some kind of, oh, it's a speaker. It's a freaking speaker. Um, honestly, uh, it's kind of, it's pretty badly damaged, I won't lie. Yeah, I'm not gonna even try and take this out. I'm just gonna leave it up there. I don't wanna bring all this stuff over there because there's no way I'm gonna be able to sort all of it. So what I'm going to do is, I'm just gonna show you guys these items. So this is a karaoke speaker. So I'm not gonna take it out. Obviously, I think it works. So this is a backlit display. Uh, it says 4K, so it's probably gonna be a big giant screen. But it looks brand new. Like, it doesn't look like it was used at all. And I almost destroyed. This is gonna be a long video because I have a lot to unbox and I have no idea what I'm doing. So this is the last item we got, which, we'll get, which I can't even talk. This is the last item we got, which is a 65 inch uh, TV. Honestly, the hardest part about liquidations is the fact that the bigger the stuff, the more you gotta put labor into it. Let me get my knife. Roof strength it is. And if I didn't break, if it wasn't broken before, it is now. I don't even think there's cables in this one. It's been about a week since I unpacked that pallet and all the objects or all the stuff that I got in that pallet. I actually made a list of all of it from the manifest and all the stuff that I've been selling. So I'll just tell you guys exactly what I kept, what I lost. I do have a Google Sheets of all the product that I have and I threw out because it was about 37% that I threw out of all the stuff. For example, all the Asus Wi-Fi or whatever the motherboards I actually threw out recycled it because there was no way that those motherboards were going to work and I didn't want to sell it to any other client so I lost about maybe six hundred dollars in product from that one uh, category 48 by 48 solid silk um, canvas board that that was the big stuff that I had over here that I just took out over there and threw it out yeah I just threw that it was damaged there was no way I was going to sell that the next is the five flashes that I received, which is the Nikon one, which was completely damaged. I had to throw that out. So that was like another $250 that I had to just throw out from the palette. The shoe mount for the Canon flash, or I think it was the Sony, didn't work because it was already damaged. It was like chipped. So what I did was I took the one that had the error screen because there was one that had an error screen. So I took off the shoe mount from that one Canon and placed it on the other one. And then it was just like brand new. So I sold that one for $250 or... I didn't sell it for 250 I think I sold it for like 210 and then uh, minus fees and all that. I got about 180 or something like that. Two got thrown out, two got capped, and one got sold. So that one that got sold was for $187, which is how much I made. Another $500 got thrown out in the garbage because they didn't work. The next four items that I threw out was the Samsung 4K TV, which is the 65-inch one. That was like the one that was the end of the clip that I threw out. Um... Next was the monitor, like the little one that was over there that I also threw out because it was there was a big giant chip in the screen which you couldn't even sell because it wasn't even working at the time. And also the the pro slider was about a thousand dollars which I threw out because there was no way I was gonna be keeping it because I don't think I would be able to sell it for any kind of parts. Um, the 65 inch TV was six hundred dollars and the little pro screen or the display was another $500 so I threw out $1,000 plus the pro slider which was another $1,000 so I threw about $2,000 worth of stuff because there was no way it's going to sell it. Last electronic that I threw out, out of this palette was the Dell laptop which had the broken USBs on the side which I like I said I couldn't even sell it because there was no way I'm going to you know put it on 
my page and try to sell it as something slightly used because it was completely damaged. So there was no way I'm going to sell that. This all that I mentioned was all the negatives. I'm going to tell you guys exactly all the positives, all the stuff that I sold, all the stuff that I'm going to be keeping, how much I've, everything that I'm keeping is going to be worth. So like I mentioned earlier at like five minutes in, I'm keeping the KNF tripod, which is the tripod that has like the drag uh, system. So a drag system, you have smoother shots for your camera and there aren't like, there isn't the little, like when you're on a tripod, you get to move it like this to the left to the right with uh, with a, I don't know how you call it, like the bar or something like you move it from left to right so it goes smoother. Yeah, it doesn't have that, but that's fine because even when I was using the KNF, the tripod camera and I was, rotating it it wasn't coming off the screw of the tripod so i think it was good uh, i'm gonna keep that it's about 82 dollars so what i'm keeping next is the 5x6 collapsible so i took out the i would just say the steel inside the cloth i took it out and now i'm able to like put it on my wall and when i put it on my wall i just like keep it like that it's not gonna get wrinkled it's not gonna happen anything to it i did get two of it but one of them i sold just now i think i made like seven dollars off it which isn't a lot but still, I made some money off it. Next is the Ion speaker, which I sold just now. I also got, I think, $30 for it. So I've, how much did I get? I'm, yeah, I made $30 off the speaker, which was the karaoke speaker or the game changer speaker, whatever. So like I mentioned before, I am keeping two flashes. So I'm keeping the ones for the Canon, which actually do work for Nikon as well. I did test them both out and they both work. Uh, some guys said that it misfired, but I think that's like the purpose of the Canon or the flash because when I took two photos so the first one didn't go off second one went off so I think that that's how it works and each one is $250 so I'm keeping two so that's $500 and I sold one so $187 I made so honestly this palette is adding up I could also sell the flashes also for maybe $200 and make $180 I'm keeping both just in case if one gets damaged I get to keep the other one so Manfrotto B Free Light or Live uh, Aluminum Tripod, which is almost two hundred dollars. How much is it? They they said it was two hundred eighty dollars. I'm um I'm keeping it. The only thing I have to change out for that one tripod is the actual drag. I'll actually show you guys right now. So here we have the head of the tripod, which as you guys could probably tell, it's um I don't have the plate base plate. I hammered it out because the base plate was getting stuck in this part. So what I did was I just took a hammer, pop, pop, hit it a couple of times, and it came out. But when I put it back in, it still didn't um, work. It still it was still getting stuck in the the corners. I think I don't know what's the problem with it. I tried um like I tried putting it back in. It gets stuck. So that one tripod is two hundred eighty dollars. So that's why I want to keep it because it's a two hundred eighty dollar tripod and something that I would have bought anyways. But the head of the tripod I think costs $120 or something like that so I'd rather just buy a new head replace it and you know keep some of the parts maybe this plate is good but the tripod head has a, a couple of dents in it or whatever or it doesn't want to like it was badly manufactured or something yeah it's just better off me keeping it I could also resell it as well make it maybe 60 bucks but again if I resell it then I'll just have to buy a new one so I don't want to do that in the palette there was a Sony wireless uh neckband which is for like movies you connect it to your tv and then when you watch it it's like surround sound around your neck i did try it out it was pretty freaking awesome but i'm not going to keep it i already sold it i sold it for 137 dollars which i think the value of it was like 150 so i think it was brand new i sold it it was um 110 dollars in profit so i'm getting i'm getting that budget down i'm going slowly but i'm getting it down tripod the gits uh the gitsmo tripod which is the twelve hundred dollar uh tripod which i think it's a thousand dollars i don't think it's a thousand dollars um i have it right here i figured out the problem with this tripod so there was a piece missing so what i did was i looked up online where uh, i could buy the parts for this tripod i went to gizmo whatever spare parts and i actually looked it up it's about 25 dollars for that one part but this is a one thousand two hundred dollar tripod or one thousand dollar tripod so i just ordered it uh it should be coming in next week just pop it in and it should be like brand new and I just sell it for the full retail price because there's nothing else wrong with it. I already tested it out. Everything's working fine. The next part that I have is the gold mount charger, which is the four batteries they put in that was like the big stuff that I didn't know what it was for. Um, yeah, that's about $1,200. So that $1,200 is, I, I, it said that the LED screen was 
broken but i can't even test it because i don't have a charger for it or i don't even know if i could even like i don't even have a batteries for it so i can't even like test it out uh, maybe i could go to b h or um some of the photo stores around here or camera stores around here and just try to see if they could like let me borrow their chargers or batteries or whatever and try and see if it works if it works it's twelve hundred dollars if it doesn't i gotta throw it out so that's another twelve hundred dollars i don't know if it's going to work or not uh the next part gemini light panel which i actually completely fixed it it completely works the brightness of this camera or this light is so amazing the only thing i have to buy for is a tripod to hold it because it's a c it's a c mount uh what do you call it it's a c mount tripod that you gotta buy to hold it up so to hold it up um i gotta buy a tripod but it's a uh, two thousand four hundred dollar light which that is insane like i can't believe someone actually returned something like that or maybe they used it for one day and they just like ah, i don't need it that's it i can't wait to just use it it's gonna be amazing for when i do photo shoots or whatever to for thumbnails because they actually just put up the background whatever put a big giant light then it's gonna be completely white no shadows and then just use it for thumbnails so two thousand four hundred dollar light I can't believe they had something like that. Next is the Nintendo Switch. So the Nintendo Switch, I sold it uh, just now. There were some defects in the Nintendo Switch, but it's still a good gaming system. And I think it's still worth uh, what I sold it for, which is $180 or $190. So next is the 5x7 canvas drop, which is the big giant background that I had in the case or whatever. I don't think I showed it, but... It was a big giant canvas. You have three sticks sticking out of it, and it's a 5x7, so just like really really freaking big and it's perfect for any kind of background filming or any kind of any kind of uh thumbnail shots or photography because it's going to take off all the white from the take all the white background shadows that you're going to post in the background so it's going to make it easier to remove backgrounds um next we have the so i'm going to be keeping that i forgot to mention uh next is the the Codex Photo Sliders, that's $105 each. I haven't tested it yet, but hopefully they do work. If they do work, then again, I can make maybe $70 off each one. Uh, most likely, they're not all, all going to work, but still, it's $70. Uh, it's going to add up to the total of how much I got actually sell to for the palette to make it worth it. Um, next is the 8600, which I have over here. This is the 8600. This is a big giant light. It's a professional light. It costs about, let me tell you right now that light costs about $500 so that $500 is a lot but the problem is that in the box it didn't any of the stuff that you actually need to power it up so in the end uh I looked at the chargers online and they cost about $150 but if I were to sell it and I'd have to deduct the $150 so what I'm thinking about doing is just going to B&H or Adorama near me and just going to the store ask them if I could use their batteries and their charger to see if it actually works if it does work then I'll just buy it sell it as a complete and make maybe $300 if um, I sell everything but the problem is I have to buy the light I have to buy the batteries and all that stuff or I could just sell it individually say it works and yeah see how much I make off that uh, the last item is the 8200 so that was the pocket light that didn't work originally what I was going to do with that unit was I was going to sell the accessories sell the light sell the other stuff in the case some buyer messaged me and he was like hey uh, what happened to the power unit is it damaged i told him yes it's damaged it's not turning on whatever he's like okay i'll give you 40 dollars and i'll take the chance of fixing it i was like okay no problem i sent it to him he told me he couldn't fix it he didn't uh, he just said keep the 40 dollars whatever but then he hit me up later he told me uh what about the accessories and i was like sure i have the accessories if you want it you could have it he's like how much and i'm like uh plus shipping and all that uh give me 55 bucks so i i sold everything for about 95 dollars uh minus the fees and all that so in profit i actually made about 60 dollars in profit um from that one pa uh one object which i wasn't actually planning but luckily that guy hit me up to let me know or ask me to um see if it actually works but let me give you guys kind of a total of how much everything costs or how much i made and how much i've left to pay so the whole pallet cost $3,377.53. Um, after selling most of the stuff that I mentioned, uh, I have $2,948 to sell or how that's how much I still have to pay off this pallet to make it worth. So that way I don't have money loss on this pallet. So I still need to sell a product equal to $2,948. But if we also add up all the objects or all the stuff that I'm going to be keeping, like, for example, the two flashes that I'm going to be keeping and the... Uh, backgrounds and all the other stuff like the gaming gaming computer uh 
cover, the tower, all that stuff. If I were to add everything up, I think I would already have broken even. I'll give you guys kind of a box over here of how much I am actually keeping or how much I'm keeping, how much I'm selling. I think I'm keeping about $2,000 worth because I'm keeping the big giant light, which is almost $1,500. I'm keeping the flash, which is another $250. So that's $17,000 already. So I'm already halfway there if I were to calculate all the ones that I'm keeping. Um, but that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this unboxing for liquidations. Um, if I had any recommendations or any kind of uh, lesson learned from this, don't buy any kind of electronics uh, from liquidations because you don't know what you're buying. And I don't think it's actually worth it because um, a lot of the stuff here is defected. Uh, if you are going to buy any kind of stuff, try to buy kind of stuff that you're going to need at home, like home good stuff or like baby care or whatever. And that way you could use it for yourself or you could sell it to a friend or whatever and if it's still good. Uh, but that is my recommendation. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys for the next one. Peace out, guys. Yo, make sure to subscribe and turn on post notifications to get notified for the next Escape for Life video.